All right, so today I thought I'm gonna make a video about converting Fahrenheit to Celsius and the other way around pretty much. It's 80 Fahrenheit today. It's hard to believe that about a week ago it was 15 Fahrenheit. Freezing and snow. So you can see here a lot of the plants. See, this was all green. 10 days ago. In Chicago, even zero during the day is pretty much normal. But here, 15 during night or 10 during night, it's like catastrophic for some of these plants. So just to show you the type of damage here to the trees. Like this thing right over here used to be green 10 days ago. Now, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick it up, but you can see how this is all yellow and stuff. So we're gonna do the conversion in a couple of ways. We'll use a function that will be very easy to do the conversion. And that's gonna show you how to do the conversion actually between all kinds of different units. Uh, not just Fahrenheit and Celsius example. But then we'll also just dive right in and do some examples of using actual, you know, formulas, how the actual math works behind it. So generally when I try to do this in my head, I'll just take whatever number it is. So let's say it says like 80 Fahrenheit, right? I'll just take 80 minus 30, so it will get me to 50, then divided by two, and that gives me about what I need it to be. But we're gonna do a little better conversion. So let's just get to our spreadsheet. All right, let's just do a conversion here. So let's say we have 80 here. We now want to convert that. So all we have to do with a function, just do equals and use the function convert. And basically the first thing is gonna be the value. So I'm gonna just click on this comma and then the unit we're converting from. So that's gonna be F for Fahrenheit in quotes. And then after comma, what I'm converting that to. So we'll use C and there we go, that's our conversion, just like that. We could also do it the other way around. So you can probably guess what that's gonna be like. So we're gonna take this, click on that, comma, and then we're gonna start from C, comma, and we're gonna convert it to F. Just like that, and that's the conversion. And as you can imagine, we can do this with many different units here. See, it's giving us this example, but let's just go and see what other units we have. So I'm gonna do learn more, scroll down. And see right here, we have examples of bunch of different units that we can convert from or to. As you can see, many options here. So if we wanted to take miles, for example, here and convert it to meters, we can do that. So we can just close this. And let's say we have two miles, so we can convert that, click on that. And this is gonna be from MI. And we're gonna convert it to meters right in here. So there you go. So if you wanted that to be kilometers, you can just divide this by a thousand. And there we go. So if we change it to one, see, that's our conversion, just like that. So now let's do the math behind this Fahrenheit to Celsius. So if I open this Wikipedia article, let's scroll down, let's see what a formula is really quickly. So there you go. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take the Fahrenheit minus 32 
and multiply it by this. So let's do that. So I'm going to go here, take this minus 32. And whatever we get, we need to multiply that by this. So if we hit enter, see we got the same answer here. So that's the actual formula here. We do minus 32 and multiply it by this, and we get our number. Or we can do the other way around. So this is the way we did it here. So we're gonna basically reverse this. So to reverse that, we have to basically, see here we'll multiply by this. Now we can divide by that and then do plus this. So we'll go here, take our number and divide it by that and add 32. And that should give us the 80 we're looking for. We can also, instead of dividing by this, we can just reverse this and multiply it by that. So that should give us the same 80, which is our Fahrenheit number. Now we can also get rid of these parentheses and it should still just work. So that's the conversion the other way around if we want to do this. So let's just check what 15 Fahrenheit would be. So that would be like negative 10 or something like that. So 10 is like negative 12. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.